Hello, is this better? Can you guys hear me now? Let me know if you guys can hear me now. And I thank you, of course, for your patience. I'll wait a few moments. Yes. Oh, okay, so can you hear me now? Yes. All right, thank you, Sonia. We are in business, my darlings. Thank you so very much for waiting with me, Wanda. I appreciate it. Yay, Forgiven Daughter 77. I love that name, by the way. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. You guys are the most fantastic people here in this corner of YouTube. I would say even all over YouTube. I thank you much, so much. You guys have always been so gracious, not only to me, but to each other in our community. And so I thank you guys for always having my back. It is a wonderful feeling to know that you are appreciated to know that the work that you're doing is beneficial to those of you who are out there. And like I said, I couldn't say it anymore if I had more mouths or more tongues to say it, but I really do appreciate you guys in our community. So thank you so much for being here this evening. D. Vandenberg, JLR, um, Sonia, um, let's see here. Who did I miss? Glenda, welcome, welcome. Yay, Dorian, I appreciate you being here tonight. I was just asking, what did you guys have planned for this Valentine's Day weekend? I know that you guys are here with me and we're gonna be doing something a little bit romantic tonight based on, if you saw the thumbnail, who can tell me? I love you too, I love you guys too, Sonia. Who can tell me what do you think we're going to be doing tonight based on the thumbnail that you clicked to get here? This was a request and I can't remember from whom. I remember when I watched the playback last week, it was in the chat. I didn't write it down, so charge it to my head and not my heart. But when the request came in, I tried my darndest to wrap my head around it. And so I was able to put something together that I am so excited excited to share with you guys tonight. So we are going to get started right away. Of course, because we're working within an hour. Hi, Dorinda. Welcome. Welcome. Because we're working within an hour, I had to go in and get some of the nitty gritty pieces done so that, of course, we can make sure. Hi, Annette. Thank you for being here with us tonight so that we can make sure we can get our craft finished within the hour. And of course, to make sure that I am honoring your time. And so we are going to go ahead and get started with tonight's craft. Now, like I said, for those of you who are here with me, I don't know if you remember what was, oh, don't do that. I almost dropped my keyboard. If you remember what was on the thumbnail for tonight's video, if you paid any attention to the thumbnail, then you would know what it is that we are going to be creating tonight. And for Valentine's Day, of course, the theme is going to fit perfectly. Oh, you're going to have dinner with your son. Happy single mom. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yes. So, I just wanted to know how many. Hey, Sandra, island girl. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We are here tonight. So, I just wanted to make sure, number one, that I got that request in. And number two, it was still within the aura, the theme of the weekend of course which is Valentine's Day which is coming up on Monday but I know people are celebrating this weekend and then of course we had our Super Bowl celebration or preparation last week so to get started I'm gonna tell you what you need so I found these beautiful iridescent frames at the dollar store let me tell y'all It has happened to me three times already. When I've gotten my total, I had to do a double take and try to figure out why am I paying so much money? And then I had to remind myself that that extra 25 cents has been 
tacked on there. So an extra 25 cents, of course, plus the tax. If you have four items, that's a whole other dollar right there. And so anyway, when I went to get my resources for this craft, I found these beautiful iridescent frames. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is coming through on um, my um, video, not video, my, my well, video. Um, and I can see how beautiful it is. So I was able to get four of these, which we're going to use as the base for our project. I also got um, one of these square cubes. They sell them in green. They also sell them in white. Of course, I had to cut on this already, so this is why it does not look exactly like a cube, but you guys will see what I did with it in a minute. You will need some dowels. I got these dowels and I've been working off of this pack for some time now. Of course, I have many things in my stash and I got these 12 inch dowels from Michaels. You will need four of your mirrors. Um, these were the bevel mirrors. I still had some in my stash. So these were the bevel mirrors that they used to sell ages and moons ago. And you will also need two two packs of these round styrofoam rounds. Well, styrofoam rounds, okay? And of course, your diamond wrap because we're gonna edge the sides of those rounds with our diamond wrap. You will need for decorative purposes a mask and I just got this one because I figured by the time I put it together I would like to embellish it with this mask. You will need, if you're interested in lighting your piece, some of these fairy lights that I had in my stash. I can't remember where I got them from. Um, more than likely it was Amazon, but I will have to check. And of course, I'll leave that link for you. You will need some zip ties, a few of them, and you will need some silver paint. Hi, baby. You are also going to need two of these wire hanging baskets that we get from the dollar store. And of course, you are going to need some flowers. Now, I am rocking the red and white tonight, again, in honoring Valentine's Day weekend. But by the time we put this together and you see what it is that we're going to create, then you will be able to decide whatever colors you would want to use for this craft. So I think I've showed you guys everything. The only other thing, of course, that you would need would be anything that you would want to choose to embellish your item with. I have this chandelier. I shared this chandelier with you guys many, many years ago. I had got this from Hobby Lobby when they were in the clearance. It is a locker um, light. It is magnetized, so it has three magnets on top, and I think I have used two of them before, and I actually just put a little dab of hot glue to stick it to what I want it to stick to. So I'm gonna use this to embellish mine, and I'm also going to use, okay, this is what it looks like. It's a part of a candelabra. Um, that I'm going to use, but I'm going to turn it upside down. And then I'm going to use a glass handle, cabinet handle, to top my um, candelabra piece, okay? So I think we have everything, or I have mentioned rather, everything that we are going to be working with tonight. Now. To get started, and of course, I went in and made one of these already because not only did we have to glue them together, but we also had to paint them. And like I said, I wanted to make sure I was maximizing your time here on the channel. And so I did not want to be spray painting while we were on live. Of course, you know that wouldn't work, but okay. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do because we're going to need the measurement of these. Now, with these frames, we are going to use them as is. The only thing we're going to remove from this phrase, sorry, frame, 
yes that dollar and 25 cents glenda it really and truly gives me a shock the last three times i have been in there hi cassandra d how are you hi royal diadem thank you eartha hammond for being here welcome 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 so the only thing you're going to do with these frames is take off the little flap that makes the frame stand up okay once you have done that you can keep whatever is on the inside you don't have to remove anything because we're going to cover it with our styrofoam piece from our white um cube okay so to put these all together we're simply going to go in with our hot glue i just lost a dowel i'm going to go in with our hot glue and affix two of them together like so. And hold it in place just to ensure that it is settled. Okay. So you will have something that looks like this in the back. They're so pretty. As I look at it, I can see how beautiful that iridescence is. It is really coming through on the camera. Hi, Nez. Thank you for being here with us this evening. All right. So I'm going to set that down on a side. And then I'm going to glue the other two together. Like so. Yep. I just burned myself, guys. <laughs> I didn't take out my um, my silicone glove. All right, and here again you can see how beautiful these frames are. Fortunately, or unfortunately, rather I should say, that I was only able to find four. Fortunately, four is all that I'm going to need this evening. But I'm think I'm going to head back there and see. Um, maybe by Monday or Tuesday to see if they restock and if I can get some more of these beautiful frames. They're gorgeous, okay? And once we have put those together, now it is going to be a matter of joining up all four. Because what we're doing is making the foundation to don't do it our craft okay so we are joining all four of our frames together okay once you've done that you should have something that looks like this right and I'm just holding it together yes Wanda they're beautiful like I said it is coming through on the camera but the camera does not do them justice so I'm going to go back and see if I can find some more if not at my Dollar Tree then perhaps at a few others just to see if I can put my hands on some and have them in my stash so that the next time I get a brilliant idea or a request for something shiny, I will be able to pull from that stash, okay? So we should have something that looks like this. <laughs> yes. Listen, call it the dollar 25 cent store and people ask where is that, listen. Girl, you're not lying. I honestly, like I said, for the past three times, and I had to go there today, and I'll tell you guys that story in a minute, uh, to see if I could have found just one more thing, and I had to pivot because I didn't find it. But yeah, it shocked me today. I picked up five things, and I was like, why am I paying, you know, $6.25? I don't understand. Plus tax. What's, what's happening? Oh, the prices went up. <laughs> All right, so this is what we should have right here. Now, remember this cue that I told you guys I would share with you what we were going to do? These cues are going to be the foundation for 
our flowers. Now, I have, you guys know, a styrofoam cutter, which I was not able to pull out tonight because I loaned it out to someone and have not yet gotten it back. And so to do this, I'm just going to use an old um, Komachi 2 knife that I have. I do not recommend these for anything other than cutting food and using in your kitchen. If you have a brand new set, do not use these at, at your craft table. But because my set is old and I have had knock them around a few times using them to do different things putting them in the dishwasher which you're not supposed to do that either they're not as powerful as or sharp i'm so sorry <laughs> as they used to be so this is why i chose to use this knife tonight but usually when cutting styrofoam you guys know that i go for my styrofoam cutter which is satisfying in and of itself because you get that snack um that that snap and 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 pop up pop and crackle that you hear when styrofoam styrofoam is melting all right so don't follow my bad practices y'all I'm just saying. <laughs> there was still a dollar. I bought a pack of um, chips, which I shouldn't have. I kind of have jumped off the bandwagon, like way, way off the bandwagon. Um, from what I, I did, I started doing a year and a half, maybe a year and three quarters ago. And so I got a bag of chips and that too was still a dollar. Um, and so they haven't turned everything over yet. I know too, when you go on the website, um, some of the items on the website are still a dollar as well. So, you know, it just depends if you want to purchase things in bulk. Um, if any of your items are in the dollar store for I'm um, sorry on the website still for a dollar you can go ahead and order them there but um, for the most part maybe not everything but most of the items in the dollar store is now Cassandra dollar 25 cent the dollar 25 cent store so yeah okay so when once you have cut them into slivers you can get the four slivers from one cube It's simply a matter of going in with your hot glue gun right in the middle of this four by four frame and placing your styrofoam there. It is not going to cover the entire frame, but that's okay because once we place our flowers, the flowers will give us that carryover we need to take up that negative space. So now that we have done that, this is what we should have. Okay. <laughs> this is what we should have. All right. So now that we have created this, I am going to go in and place this on the side. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is create, and I don't think I'm looking to see, um, if anybody mentioned or, said what we were making but nobody has i'm looking at the chat so i'm just gonna say we are making a pumpkin coach cinderella's coach um and so what we just made was a foundation for a coach and now we are going to make our chassis yes our chassis i was daddy's girl and daddy was always under the hood of something whether it was his car his truck or his boat <laughs> And so I learned the hard way of how, where to shine a flashlight. He would ask me, can you see, hold the flashlight here so I can see. And I would be pointing the flashlight, just thinking that I'm doing a wonderful job shining the flashlight where daddy needs to see it. And then he would ask me, can you see right here, sir? Uh, no, daddy. Well, then I can't see Nita. Hold the flashlight where I need it to be. And so I would have to readjust, but yeah. So we are going to make the chassis for our coach. Now, 
To do this, I put this away a little too early, but to do this, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get your measurements. Now, we are going to, I'm using dowels, like I shared with you before, right? And we are going to be making this carriage, of course, with our wheels, okay? And what we want to do is make sure that our wheels, there is enough space for our um, styrofoam to be attached to our rods. So if you can see, I'm doing it with one set because once you find your measurement with one, it is simply a matter of just measuring it to the other one and finding where you need to glue them down, okay? So as you can see here, I have a little hangover coming out. You can see it right here. Let me see where my hand is. No, you can't. Mm, okay. Let me see if I pull it back. Yes, there we go. So you can see that hangover right here. That is what you want. Okay. And then, like I said, once we found this placement, then we can go in and find this one too. So I'm going to lift this up very carefully. Okay. And now that I have what I need, it is simply going to be a matter of going in with my hot glue and gluing these two dowels together. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. I glue them on one side, and once that sets up a little bit, I'm going to turn it over, put some glue between both dowels, on the other side okay and that just goes ahead and secures your dowels so that we can make the foundation upon which our wheels one are going to be attached and our foundation is going to sit upon Okay, so now that I have done that, here is what I was telling you. I think it's still wet, so I'll hold it for a few more seconds. So talk to me, guys. What are you guys doing for this Valentine's Day? Or if not Valentine's Day, how many of you are celebrating with company tomorrow night for the big game? I have been watching a few people post on social media about, you know, where they are and how they're getting ready for the game and who they're going to be inviting over to their home or which who has ever home they're going to visit. So just let me know, what are you guys doing? How are you guys gonna watch? I know a lot of people are talking about the halftime show and the people who are going to be performing so a lot of people are excited for that. Um, I saw a meme that said, um, I think it was Generation Y, Generation X. The millennials, I think they said, are going to be surprised when the beat drops and they see how their parents used to party or something like that. And I laughed because I was like, that's so true. <laughs> that was music that we grew up on, you know stars who we used to listen to. All right. So now that you have placed your dowels side by side and get them to be the same size, same process, just lining the two dowels together and going in with some hot glue, allowing them to set for a while. Oh, it's your sister's birthday. Well, please be sure to tell your sister happy birthday for me. Happy, happy, happy birthday. 
Awesome. And I know he's going to enjoy it. Yeah. Valentine's Day fell on a weekday this year. So like I said earlier, a lot of people are celebrating this weekend. Um, you know, I can imagine a lot of people going out tonight or, well, not even tomorrow, because like I said, there's a big game tomorrow. But yeah, a lot of people are going to be out tonight in their finery, going on their dates. It's exciting. You know, I agree with the sentiment that, you know, love just shouldn't be celebrated on one day of the year. You know, you should always date and court, you know, your significant other or date your significant other and let them know every day that you love them. And we know that Valentine's Day is, has been very commercialized, but I still find it very exciting. You know, just to see perhaps what other people are doing. You know, there are going to be some proposals, maybe tonight or on Valentine's Day itself. So those types of things excite me. They interest me, I guess, just because I'm a hopeless romantic. But <laughs> yes, the commercials are fun. Super Bowl commercials are fun and exciting serving munchies with your kids i know hey one way how are you cooking a few dishes to take so you're going to be visiting at a friend's house watching them trip and laugh at them no don't laugh at them <laughs> but yeah just an excited time an exciting exciting weekend so i'm looking forward to hear all of the stories looking forward to see you know on social media who got proposed to you know even at the game who won things like that okay so now that our dowels have dried okay we have where we're going to place our wheels like I shared with you at the ends, okay? Now it is time to create, like I said, our chassis, okay? And to do this, we're just going to lay our two or where we're going to attach our wheels down. And then we are going to take maybe about five to six more dowels and we're going to glue them down so that the frames that we just glued together will be supported by this, okay? So very quickly, very easily, just a dab of glue there, a dab of glue there, and we're just going to repeat this process six times okay. and allow it to set. Now I wanted to show this guy, show this to you guys, because of course I already went in and I made mine and I did so because like I said, it had to be painted and I didn't want to have to paint it on air and then you know, while we're here waiting for that piece to dry. So, you know, we're going to use the magic of TV. When I was a kid <laughs> watching news shows with my mom or um, any show where they're making you, showing you how to make something. And it's like, well, with the magic of TV, voila. And they would go to the oven and take out, you know, the finished project. I'm like, whoa, psh, mind blown for a little kid. Yeah, now I know better. <laughs> They just make it in advance and have it sitting there so that when they're finished, they can just pull it out and say, this is what it's going to look like. So yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of TV magic here tonight as well. And I think I'm going to just put this one down because like I said, I've already created one, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's going to look like. Okay. All right, of course, I would have an extra one here. All right, but now I want to show you this. And I probably is not going to be able to put this on. But if you notice, if you can see, because I don't want it to stick, there is a little overhang from the dowels that I have placed horizontally, right? Nothing to panic about, nothing to worry about. All you have to do 
is take a wire cutter and snip the excess off. Okay, just like that. And they're gone. Okay, so when you put your frames on, you're not going to have any of those dowels sticking out. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys that part. Okay, so now you'll have something that looks like this and you won't have all that overhang that you see here. None of it is going to be sticking out when you place your frames down. All right. Oh, Dorothy, what well, happy, 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 happy birthday in advance. And I hope he has planned something good. I know he has. So you have a double whammy. So you have birthday, birthday love and Valentine's Day love. Woohoo! So exciting. So exciting. All right. So now that we have done that part, we can set all of that on a side. The next thing we have to do now is prepare our wheels. So we're going to use these round foams and our mirrors to create our wheels. So I went in. Here is a story coming up. And I created, I had one, right? And I had this pack in my garage. I thought I had, because they come in a two pack, for those of you who remember, I thought I had another two pack in my bundle with all of my phones, my star phone, but I did not. So I frantically got dressed, ran to the dollar store, looking for just one more pack. I was praying on the way there, praying, walking from my car to the store, praying when I got in the aisle and lo and behold, ugh, there was none. I came home, I walked that store. I checked in the spring garden section. I checked in the aisle with all the flowers. I even went to the, I think the mechanic aisle, just hoping, you know, somebody had picked one up and just, you know, rested, rested it there. I walked through a few aisles. I couldn't find any. So I decided, I had to decide, did I want to use these smaller rounds, which are uh, concave? Is it concave? Okay, I could have used these, but I would have had to go in and cut them, right? Thereby wasting that styrofoam. Or I could have used these three as is, and then just cut one of these styrofoam. So if you can see, this is what it was. And I went in with my trusty knife and I cut off the narrow section. Okay, so I'm just being transparent. This is what I had to do because gosh darn it, I was gonna make this craft tonight and I was not going to be denied. So just so you know why I'm working with this. Now, to create this, what I'm going to do, and of course I will go to another store and see if I can find them. But in the meantime, just to make sure that we're putting this together, what you're going to do with your styrofoam is line it with your diamond wrap. Okay. And this is, I know for these, they take four layers of that um, styrofoam. The slim ones that the Dollar Tree sells only has three rows, right? The thick one has five. So I had to go in with a thick one and cut off one layer just to make sure I could have covered these, okay? But just going around with your hot glue, try not to manipulate it too much because you know that that hot glue is going to seep through those holes. So just holding your styrofoam on either side because we know nothing burns like a hot glue gun on high heat. That hot glue on high heat ain't no joke, y'all, at all. <laughs> I've gotten several burns, and I know you guys in here have gotten several burns too, All right? So once you have glued it down, simply just seeing where it is going to stop and then cutting off your excess and laying down 
a little bit more glue to finish off the process. All right, we know how to do this. This is crafting 101. And for those of you who have been here with me throughout the years, crafting 101. All right. So now this is going to be the odd wheel out. But like I said, I am going to fix him. <laughs> we'll go back and see if I can find some more packs. And then, of course, if I can find some more, I'm going to pick up as many as I can. Yay. All right. Now, with our marrow, like I tell you guys all the time, I take off the felt pieces. And I did for all of these others, but I take off the felt pieces because what do we need? Let's see what gives us more bang for our buck when we're gluing things down. You can put it in the chat. So just to make sure that we're getting that thing. Oh, I love it. You guys are giving Dorothy some love. You guys are awesome. All right. So to make sure we have enough of that thing that we need to make sure we are getting full adhesion with this hot glue. What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> that thing, that, oh, let me not. Before they copyright infringement me. Okay, so once you have done that, of course it's gonna be easier with your white foam because your mirror fits perfectly right but because i've had to pivot i'm making sure that i'm putting my glue only in the middle All right and then i am going to place my styrofoam right there okay so i have something that looks like this Or rather, you have something that looks like this. Okay? Surface area was the answer I was waiting for. But we're still partying with Dorothy, so that's it doesn't matter. That's great. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, so now that we have created all of our components and they're sitting on a side to dry, okay? We are going to, and of course, like I said, I did some of this pre-video because I wanted to honor your time, okay? Now, we are going to, well, I think I'm going to wait for this because we have to embellish this. So I'm going to wait to do that. I was going to tie our um, two flower pots together, but I'm going to wait to do that because we're going to embellish it and I need access to put my hand inside. So let me tell you what we're going to do next. So what we are going to do now is build our cart. Now, this is the silver one, the one that I created earlier and I spray painted. It's not very pretty. Uh oh, it's not very pretty. Okay, but that's okay. Under cars usually aren't, <laughs> but you're not going to see this. So we're not going to worry about it. Now, this is what we are going to do. Let me put this out of the way to make sure it's not hindering your view. All right. So we're going to place our wheels down. Okay. Yes, like so. And if you can see, like so. And if you can see, what I'm doing is finding my placement, okay? Yeah, I need to find this other piece. And I'm placing my um, dowels into that styrofoam, okay? Once I have done that, I'm simply gonna put a dab of glue right where that hole was created and stick 
my dowels back in there. All right. So we have just attached our wheels. And you know what? My hot glue gun is too hot. So let me give it a minute to cool down because I'm hearing that styrofoam melt. And that's not what we want. All righty. Yes, it is. It is so full of love. I love y'all. Okay. Okay, I'm just testing it to see this side just because this styrofoam is a bit bigger. It's not yet set. I just turned down my hot glue gun because I don't want to use it on high heat because it's actually melting that styrofoam and I don't want that to happen. Oh, buddy. Oh, my dog is crying. He wants out. He wants to come to me. All right. Let's do this. I'm just trying to speed up the process of cooling down. All right. I know, puppy. I know. I'm going to be finished soon. All right. That's a little better. So it's not snapping as much. And that's what you want. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but do you see how it's springing back? That's what you want. You want that hot glue to really encase the dowels so that they're not going to be moving around too much. Okay. Once we have done that, we are going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now, yes. Yay, it comes off. Now this is one that I'm recycling from another craft that I did years ago, because I really can't remember what it was from, but I had lined it with a piece of felt. Of course, if I'm trying to get my dowel in there, I could have cut the felt, but I just want to make sure that there's nothing blocking that styrofoam. So I'm going to lay down my other two wheels. Flip it. Let's see here. Okay. All right. Make the holes. Place the hot glue. It's now cooled off some. You can see that it's moving at a slower pace than it was when I first made these. And now that we have it in there, just covering up that hole. Bobby, I can't come for you right now. I don't know if you guys can hear him. As he gets older, he is getting so vocal. It is hilarious, but not really. Not really. Huh? Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let me see what you guys are saying. I don't know yet. I have, like I said before you came in, just been eating off the chain. And I need to try to get some semblance of order back into my diet because... I can feel it. I can feel it in my joints. I can feel it in my mind. I, you know, I need to um, get off that sugar once again. But you know, it might be as simple as some stew chicken, perhaps. <laughs> my son and my daughter have this thing. He likes um, barbecue chicken. When I bake it, put it in the oven, cover it with barbecue, and she likes curry chicken to hear him tell it I always make curry chicken and I never make barbecue chicken to hear her tell it I don't make curry chicken enough 
<laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't, I haven't taken anything out, of course, um, to thaw out. So it may be a matter of, all right, this is what's going to be a little tricky. It might be a matter of, um, ah, it's not set yet. So let me just wait. It might be a matter of, um, taking something out a little later this evening. Um, once I get off with you guys, but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Maybe you can give me some pointers one way and let me know what you guys are doing. That would be great. All right. So I'm going to see now there's some things. Let me see if I can get her to go. Can you just come and lend me your hands? You don't have to be on camera, but I need to borrow your hands. Uh, stick your hand in there. Let me see. Okay. Can you lift these two? You may need to go on your knees under the table a little bit. All right. Can you come in? Be careful. Lift these two and we're going to put it down so lift them up all righty okay yay thank you darling you were very helpful all right so this is what we have so far and you can see this little itty bitty one that's just different from everybody else but i like i said i was making this tonight okay so here we are with our chassis here we are with our wheels this um hot glue and this one is still a little soft so i'm not going to mess with it too much <laughs> curry chicken listen and when i make that thing i put some um of course your bay leaves, your uh, rosemary, you know, allow it to cook down. And then I also put um, a habanero pepper in there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. With my carrots. Okay. Now here we are with the foundation of our carriage. Ooh, I'm so excited. I was going to sing again, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to get the copyright infringement. Okay. So here is our foundation to our cart. All right, now what we're going to do is put the bottom half of our cart down and, and I forgot to grab them of course, but I will see if I can figure out. I was going to take some greening pins and just push them down just to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. But now here's where your flowers come in. And yes, these are the same flowers from, <laughs> from um, so let's do it this way. These are the same flowers from um, last week's craft. So I took them out of, here we go. I took them out of um, our topiary and I also went downstairs and I pulled out the others that I had just to make sure we would have enough all right so this is what i'm talking about where i said that it didn't matter that the styrofoam didn't reach all the way to the edge of the frame because by the time we go in with our flowers you won't be able to see it as much okay so just make sure oh that one doesn't have a stem Make sure that you're sticking your flowers in on an angle. I'm going to see if I can do all red. And then you don't have a stem either. See if we can do all red. And then perhaps put in a few pops of white. So we get the true feel of a holiday <laughs> I 
<laughs> come on, girl. Come on. Come on. You know, my kids, we're from the Caribbean. They've been um, Americanized in terms of, you know, the foods that they eat. I like soup you know on very cold days and if you guys can imagine i made a huge pot of soup oh my gosh that thing was so good um you know with the pumpkin and the uh, carrots and the sweet potatoes and the um um dumplings everything and my daughter and i of course we ate from it seasoned it nice little bits and pieces of um, ginger to give it that nice twang, you know, with your uh, vinegar. It was, let me tell you, it was good. And to hear my son tell it, hey, I don't like soup that much. <laughs> so when we sat down to eat it the first time, he sat with us and he had a bowl, but he didn't touch it again. So it was between my daughter and I, and of course, you know, I ate the most of it. Um, so yeah, but I miss our food at home. Um, you know, just like everything else, I miss the beaches. I keep saying that it's it's time to take a trip. It's time to go home. Um, but you know, it just gets so busy, and you know, things just happen, and life gets in the way, and. Um, yeah so yes sure you can come over I like I like cooking uh, for people <laughs> my son would say he begs to differ um, she's coming back puppy my son would say that he begs to differ um, but yeah ain't no food like Caribbean food of course my teeth was cut on it so you know I say that and no one can Tell me anything differently, right? <laughs> your curries and your stews and your sauces and your fried fish and Johnny cake and your dumplings. Yeah. Alrighty. It's so pretty. Guys, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. You guys aren't talking to me. Ooh, it's almost eight o'clock. Like one minute. All right. Let me try to finish this up and let you guys see what it's going to look like. All right. So we're covering up our styrofoam. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how this turns out. And then, of course, I'm going to take pictures, clean up my wheels. Okay. I think this will be sufficient for now. And then, okay, so this is what we have now, and, and I took it inside with me, hold on here. Sorry for turning my back on you guys. I really do appreciate your grace. Oh, you make a Norwegian dish. What's in it, JLR? Okay, so I just got my greening pins. I'm gonna make sure I'm securing this. Oops. I'm securing this to my styrofoam so it doesn't move. And that's better. Bobby, she's coming. All right. So it doesn't move and this is much better. Alrighty. So yes, listen, red, you guys know me. Red says, here I am. It's my favorite color. My absolutely favorite, favorite color. I could wear red every single day, every single day whether in an entire outfit or you know in a in uh accessories 
you know, something <laughs> on me is red. I love the color that much. It's a color, the color of confidence. All right. So this is what we look like so far. So here we have, Ooh, guys, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Okay. So now what we're going to do is close up. Now, this is what I was telling you guys. I would have wanted to embellish mine with this light, but now that I've added the flowers, it wouldn't work, right? So of course, there is always a plan B. You guys know that. All right, so now what we're going to do is close in our baskets and to do that it's going to take some finagling because <laughs> we know that everything is not uniformed at the dollar store who's it bud all right, so I think this is the best I could get it for now. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to use my, who is it, bud? Who is it? I don't know. All right. Okay, place one there. Who is it, bud? I don't know either. Unless she's just doing that to get out. <laughs> He's so smart. My little ornery old man. All right, so I'm gonna put one here. Hamburger sausage with potatoes. Make, oh, yeah, that does sound delicious. Okay, I know what the problem is, guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna let you guys go shortly. I'm just trying to secure this, but I was working without my glasses. And now that I put them on, I can see so much better. Sometimes I forget, huh? Okay, hold on. Here we go. All right. I'm trying to decide if I need another one. All right, no, I think that'll suffice for now. We're gonna cut that off. And then I will find a way to cover that but so now this is what we have okay it's beautiful I like the way it looks now to close this up right I am using you could do one of two things so at first I thought of placing a mirror here okay I need to go in with another greening pin tilting right in here but I can fix that um, putting a mirror up here if you wanted to use this for a quinceanera you could pr probably perhaps place your little um, figurine up here so that um, whatever you're using sweet 16 or quinceanera um, to represent your daughter so that's one way of closing this up okay or with also a light in there. If you choose to go this route, you could stick one of the little dollar store lights, um, candle lights in there underneath, turn it on and just use one dab of glue to stick that there. Or the route I want to go is using this piece of a candelabra that I took off. Oh, it's missing one of the crystals. And then topping it with this crystal doorknob. Like so. Voila. 
Okay, I'm not going to glue it down. Um, not yet. Because I might need to tweak it just a little bit more. But yeah, here you go. Cinderella's carriage. Now, the only thing that I might do differently. Hey, Elizabeth Sotomayor. Well, thank you for being here with us. For the first time, guys, let's welcome Elizabeth. Let's give her some Danny's Darlings community love. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for being here, Elizabeth. And yes, Puerto Ricans, listen, we know island food. Listen, I'm sitting here talking about it and making myself hungry. <laughs> and I'm about to go in my kitchen and make some potato stuffing, some seasoned rice, arroz con pollo. Listen, don't get me started. Um, but yes, so the only thing that I would do differently, two things. I would probably use, instead of using four by four frames, I might probably use a five by seven um, so that they will jut out just a little bit more, which would give me more surface for my flowers. That's one thing I would do. Also, probably what I would do is not place the flowers in the middle because I just had this brainstorm while I was putting it together. Not place the flowers in the middle, but leave this space empty. And you could probably do it. Um, and I wish I don't have any dolls because, you know, my kids are grown. But you could place that doll right here in the middle to represent your daughter, the bride, whatever you use this for. Um, you can place something in there. And what you can also do is I pull this out. You can also put your fairy lights in and throughout your flowers to light it that way as well. So, or if you wanted to, you could go in and wrap your fairy lights around the stems of your, um, the stems of your pot. So that would work as well. So as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking of so many ways that I could embellish this just to make it different, just to have it fit. The theme of love. I like this, guys. This turned out very well. Even our, I'm not going to say too loud, but even our bum wheel over here. <laughs> He's holding up. Oh, my gosh. But I'm happy that I was able to think of um, a way to carry on with this project and as a matter of fact now that I am looking at it let me let me uh, my daughter is in here okay let me turn it around so you guys can see and tell me what you th think hold on because we might do it in green but tell me what you think so this is the wheel with the green foam, right? So that's sitting smack dab in the middle and there's a space from the mirror to the foam. This is the white where you can see, right? That white and you can see that diamond ribbon. Which way do you guys prefer it? with the invisible foam or with the foam that you can see. Now that I'm thinking about it, let me see what you guys think and then we can discuss it. Let me see what you guys think. You let me know. What did I do with my greening pins? Cause it's tilted and I can see it. Alrighty, let me know what you guys think which wheel looks better you know they say the saying goes um necessity is the mother of all invention so let me know um, 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 um i was wondering when the <laughs> they're not called dangadoos <laughs> You are hilarious, Huawei. Of course you know they have to be there. As a matter of fact, I have some more that I can add too, but in the essence of time, it's already 8, 8 11. So I will add them and take pictures and I will place them the pictures on the community page so you guys can see the final 
project. You are hilarious. Thank you, all that plus. Thank you, thank you. Hey, yes, please. Thank you, JLR. Please leave a thumbs up, leave a like. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you, even if you will. Um, I heard, I was watching another channel and I heard that um, when they unsubscribe you and turn off your notifications, it is because um, the person is not commenting or liking on videos and so they figure it's just an account that's just sitting there. So if you will, go ahead and like, um, leave comments. I know you guys, I'm speaking to the choir here. I know you guys leave comments on my videos, but just make sure that you're leaving comments, you're liking, make sure that you are subscribed and that your notifications are on. I'm trying to level this. Your notifications are on so that you don't miss anything. All right, so let me see. Uh, it looks like a pumpkin, thank you. The invisible foam, right? So this is the invisible one. Let me see if I have, you like the original. So JLR says he likes the invisible. Sandra says she likes the original. I think I like the wheel with the space. So it's, it's the foam you see, the white foam. <laughs> I know all that plus you will use your purple flowers you and my daughter um, so the vote is evenly split you know as I can see yeah the invisible does give let me see which side the invisible does give like a floating look um, the one that you can see you get to see or you get that additional glam that glimmer and shine from the diamond ribbon so either which way it works i just wanted to know what you guys thought thank you so much nicole i appreciate you yes 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 thank you thank you thank you the invisible so yes yeah, so we have different votes um i think to be honest i think i like the invisible now that i've done it and i can see what it looks like um then the wheel so i don't know maybe i might make this again i had another idea for a wheel um to make it bigger um and maybe i will go ahead and make that one as well and just post a picture of what it looks like but here you go guys our cinderella carriage let me show you guys what oh one more thing and i know i'm over but thank you thank you thank you one thing that i was thinking also i found this beautiful silver mask a few weeks ago at the dollar store and perhaps ooh, guys look at this okay hold on so we can either put it in the back let me play with it a little bit or we can put it in the middle so let me show you what it would look like so I'll show you this way first, if you can see that, okay? So you can rest it right here in the flowers. All right, what do you guys think about this one? Let me know what you think about this, having it this way. Because if you're using this on a table, right, you, the people who are sitting front and back right they'll be able to see it this way or if this way does not work you could probably use it as so i'm going to turn it yes my wheels have set and turn it this way and they actually move too and you can place it somehow tie it on <laughs> I like this right like so so this could be used for a masquerade ball it could be used for a sweet 16 it could be used for a wedding I mean the possibilities are endless hi Marie Rose thank you for being here awesome thank you so very much i appreciate you all right so yeah so that's just another idea for embellishing this 
heart. Let me know what you guys think about it. And guys, it was fun. It's always fun being with you guys. Always, always, always. You guys come. You share the love. We're in here for each other. It's awesome. Yay. All right, my darlings. So let me know if you like it. Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Let me know. Let's do it this way so we can see because people are still voting. So I'll show you the side with the two white wheels. Okay. That's the last thing and I promise I'm going to let you guys go. I love crafting. You guys don't know how much this, this relaxes me so much. It just gets my mind right. And I've had a rough week this week. Oh my gosh. Rough. This week had me <laughs> considering my life decisions career-wise, promise you. All right, so here you can see with the two white wheels. So now, yeah. So I'm looking at it from what you guys could have seen when the invisible wheel was uh, looking at you. But now I'm looking at it on this side and yeah, I think I like the white foam too. <laughs> I really do. Yes, foam you can see. All right, my darling. So this has been fun. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. I appreciate you guys for giving me your ideas, letting me know what you would want to see. If you have any idea, well, I have an idea for our next um, Craft With Me Live. It is going to be a farm glam, very, let me, let me take that back, glam farm um, idea. Um, it's going to be very quick, so it's not going to be a lot um, to do per se, but just something quick and useful that you can, I'm not even going to give it away, but yes, so something Glam Farm and another idea I got, we know that spring is coming, um, Easter is coming, and so we're going to be making a wreath, not in the way you think, but I'm going to show you how to make an Easter wreath. And of course, if there are any other ideas that you guys would like to see, please feel free to leave it on our community tab, send me a message or leave it in the comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. So my darlings, I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Again, we know that the reason why we do what we do here at, on this channel is say it with me why buy when you can diy how much would you expect to pay for this if you had to purchase it from a store and of course i have given you the plans to go ahead and make this and once you do the sky's the limit you can embellish this any way that you choose so my darlings i just want to thank you for being here with me tonight i want to say have a happy 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 valentine's day weekend those of you with significant others and loved ones enjoy them those of you who will be watching the Super Bowl game and spending time with family and friends, enjoy them too. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Those of you who are having birthdays, happy, happy birthday. Um, and enjoy. Know that I love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Until next time, be well. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yes. Yes, and that's another way, um, Dorinda, that you can embellish this. As a matter of fact, I pulled these out. Um, and did I put it away? I did. I pulled these out. I have, <laughs> according to um, One Way Design, some more dangle, dangle do's, okay? I pulled these out. These can be attached as well, right? Um because what they do in essence is they pull your eyes down, right? So that you can see the entire thing in its entirety. So you can add these going around. And then if you wanted to, and I guess I'll put it away, you could take, oh, I have a piece right here, fell on the floor. 
hold on so I can show you what that'll look like. You can take your diamond wrap, right? And cut it in a single strip and glue that single strip down on each of your wires. I'm just gonna cut a piece to show you what that looks like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sideways is this way is better, right? Yes. So I will probably have to figure out a way to maybe, mm, but if we use two mirrors, then we won't be able to use the dowels to stick into that styrofoam. But perhaps we could paint the styrofoam so you don't get that white underneath there. But going back to what you said, um, Dorinda, just taking one layer of your diamond wrap and just very gingerly, because you don't want to get too much residue from um, your hot glue gun, but very gingerly going in perhaps with a more precision glue gun and laying these um, this diamond wrap down. That would be beautiful. I 100% agree with you. So thank you for that idea see it's so beautiful look i'm i'm trying it now yes oh that okay so yeah we are logging off now but i know what i'm going to be doing <laughs> i'm going to finish this thank you dorinda for that wonderful 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 idea because this is just so common to me yes beautiful oh my goodness you are so right so it takes away that wire. All right, like that. Yes, I like it too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you to those of you who stuck around as we closed out. Let me show you guys. I know, I keep saying we're done, and then I keep saying, let me show you guys something else. Dorinda's, Dorinda's idea. All right, if you can see that right here. Already in the camera, I can see, I can see the difference from the wire to that diamond wrap. Like I said, the only thing I would suggest is going in with a precision um, glue gun because from the back, I can see where I put down just a little bit too much so you can see that glue sticking out. So you would have to use a precision tool to make sure you don't get any of that ugly glue residue on the back. But yes, I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that idea. All right, guys, until next time, you guys be well. I'm logging off for real this time. <laughs> Mwah. Love you all. Why bye when you can DIY diamond rock in each wheel in the center yes you can i have some of those y'all don't get me started because <laughs> listen i had to go through my stash today to try to find one more of these white styrofoams and i couldn't so i pulled stuff out and now i have to go put all that stuff back in so yeah don't get me started but yes you can put something in the middle to pop the wheel as well yay you guys are awesome Put it on both sides. Yes, I will be. When we log off, I'm going to get out my smaller glue gun and I'm going to start laying all of my um, my diamond wrap. So thank you. That's the thing I was talking, but I couldn't quite remember what it was called. All right, my darling. So you guys have a wonderful night, a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and take care of <laughs> yourself. My daughter just gave me the look. She's like, Mom, you're saying bye too, much, too many times. Just get off now. But I love my peoples. <laughs> bye, guys. I'll talk to you guys next week, God willing. Bye-bye. <laughs>